Okay, welcome to lesson 1.2, grade sixes. And in this table, or sorry, in this lesson, we're going to continue to explore the relationship between columns in a table, but we're going to throw in a couple of more twists here. The first one I've given you is very difficult because you can't use the output rule to find it. Here is a, set, a sequence or a series of figures. And what we're doing here is we're, this is figure one, figure two, figure three, and figure four. And we're counting the small number of squares in each one. So figure one has one square. Figure two has one, two, three, four squares. Figure three has nine squares. And figure four has 16. You'll notice that as we're going down here, we can't really use the, uh, the pattern, the output pattern, to figure out the input output rule. All right? Um, so let's see if we can just figure out the output rule. Okay, so from 1 to 4, we added 3. From 4 to 9, we added 5. From 9 to 16, we added 7. So we have to add 9, that'll give me 25, and then add 11, that will give me 36. Okay, so my output rule is, is, is kind of difficult to do. Now, the input to output rule going sideways is much more difficult. So I want you to pause the recording and give it a try and see if you can figure out what the output rule is going to be here. All right, so we started with the hardest one first, okay? You should notice that 1 times 1 is 1, 2 times 2 is 4, 3 times 3 is 9, 4 times 4 is 16, 5 times 5 is 25, and 6 times 6 is 36, okay? Notice that what's happening here is we have the input being multiplied by itself. Now, this pattern should be the same. The pattern rule should be the same for every step. So 5 and 6 must continue. 5 times 5 is 25. 6 times 6 is 36. And of course, if you kept going, 7 times 7 is 49. Now that brings us to the relation and the rules. Okay. Now, in this situation, the, the relation is now going to be in letters and symbols. This is what the format of a relation is right down here, n times n, where I let n become the number or the, you know, the input. Um, some kids like to use I for input, so the input times the input so would be I times I. You can use any letter you want. The rule is always in words, and the relation is always in um, is always in letters and numbers. All right. So this one here is a mistake in this one, so I'm just correcting it right now. Okay. The rule is the input times the input. That's the rule is for this one. The relation for this one is n times n, or the number times the number. Okay, and these are the inputs. The number of squares is the figure number, so that will be the n, and it's multiplied by itself for n times n. I used n to replace the word, the figure word, or the figure number. Okay, that's a tough one. Let's go to some more easier ones. All right, so we've got one, two, three, four. We got four patterns, or sorry, four figures. And we've got squares to count. So what I'd like you to do is to take a second, pause the recording, and see if you can figure out what the next two pa uh, sorry, uh, numbers of squares are going to be. So pause the recording and do that right now. All right. Going up one to three is adding two. Three plus two is five. Five plus two is seven. So we can see right here that we are adding two each time. All right. If you add two each time, that means that seven plus two is nine. And 9 plus 2 is 11. So there we go. Now remember that pattern rules are in words. Relations are in letters. So taking a look at this pattern rule, let's figure out if we can figure out what just the pattern rule is. Now this one's kind of nice because we're just going to go down here. There's, um, the 1 plus 2 is always being added to. Remember, when you add by the same number, that becomes your multiplier. So we know if you're adding by 2, we're going to start out with multiply. Okay, now let's find out how do you get from one to a two, uh, one to a one. So if we're multiplying by two, one times two is two, but we have a one. So we have to back this up and subtract one from it. Okay, so we think it's going to be subtract one afterwards. Let's see if this works for the second one. Two times two is four. Four take away one is three. Hey, that worked. Three times two is six. Take away one is five. 4 times 2 is 8, take away 1 is 7. Okay, so we now know what our rule is going to be. Remember, rules are in words. Okay, so we know that it's going to be multiplying by 2 and subtracting 1. So how do we make that into a relation? Remember, the relation is always in letters and symbols. So if you think of the letter N as being the input, 
over here, we multiply by 2. So you're going to have to go input i times 2, subtract 1, so take away 1. Or you can take and go, uh, if you don't want to use uh, i, you can use n like I normally do. But that's your choice. So we have here the relation. So here is the relation on the left-hand side. 2 n's, or 2 times n, subtract 1. Here is the rule. It would be in words. So if I wanted to put this in rules, it would be multiply by 2, subtract 1. Okay? Remember, relation uses letters and numbers. Rules are always in words. Okay, let's take a look at the next one. All right, so we're starting here with this table. I'd like you to fill in the table, the rest of it, using your output, and then see if you can find the input-output rule. So pause the recording and do that right now. All right, speeding along here. Uh, one, one, so we're going up by one each time here, aren't we? So we are going to be multiplying by one, or whatever you wish to use, just use multiply. Multiply by one. And then what do we do? Well, one times one is one. But we have a zero. So to get from a one to a zero, we have to subtract. Oop, not cub. Subtract one. Let's see this works for the second number. Two times one is two. Take away one is one. It worked. Three times one is three. Subtract one is two. It worked. So you should have come up with three, four, five is the rest of the chart here. So this is my rule. Multiply by one, subtract by two. So subtract, sorry, multiply by one, subtract one. So if you go here, you'll see this is just the same we just did. We found out we're going up by one, so that means you're, you're multiplying by one, and then of course you have to subtract one to make it work. So there you go. Now you don't have to always go one times one on the rule. If if the if the multiplication by one, we don't always put it in because one times the number never changes it. So you don't always have to go one times the input, take away one. If you want to, that's fine. But for most cases, we're just going to go with just take the number and subtract one. Take the number and subtract one. Okay. Remember, rules and words, relations are in numbers and letters. Now. If you were in the classroom and I was teaching you, what I would have you do here is I would have you create the output pattern. And then I'd like you to get a partner and switch with them and you do theirs and they do yours. And then figure out, you can fill in what relations you use, the outputs you use, um, and you can answer these questions, all right? And then of course on the next one, once you got the first one done, I was going to have you do uh, another one, but this time only place the first three numbers in and then get the partner to guess it and then go on. All right. Now, these aren't the questions you're going to do on the assignment. You'll get new ones from me. So if you have any questions, come and talk to me. If you're having any difficulty, please rewind this, uh, sorry, rewind. Uh, go back to the start of this video and watch it again. And that wraps up lesson 1.2, folks.